Hi everyone, welcome to Patty's Polish Corner. So I did mention in one of my videos that I was going to be doing an organizational video on how I store and organize my glitters. So this is it, this is the video. And because that's gonna be really, really short, I decided to um, show you how I organize my stamping plates. Now I did show you my cases and stuff, but since then I've taken all day long labeling and separating and um, organizing all my stamping plates and I thought you guys might be interested in seeing that. So let's get started. So my glitter, if you saw my other video, if it's up, <laughs> um, is kept in this, um, this bin right here and they seem to fit really well. I keep them in pencil cases. So let me get out and I will show you these. So um, in this one actually is just some odds and ends. Um, these containers I got from Walmart um, because my glow pigments were pretty big. And so that's what that is. And then some just like little odds and ends containers that I hadn't repurposed and some glitter that probably isn't nail polish grade that I got from, where did I get this stuff from? Oh, Joanne Fabrics. And then this is a little um, chrome powder that I got. So that's just, that's just some odds and ends in there. But what I did was I organized all my glitters except for that little odds and ends box. And these are my glitters from Glitter Unique that I usually purchase a teaspoon. And what I did is I put them in 20 gram jars. I like the size of these jars. They're big. You're not going to, you know, have trouble opening it and getting glitter everywhere. There's, you know, a good amount of space in there to dip whatever in there to get them out. So I just love these. And then what I did was I labeled them all. And as you can see, they fit great in these pencil boxes that I got from Walmart, which right now my Walmart is out of. So I might have to get a few more. Um, but anyway, so I have usually have all the labels turned so I can see what I'm looking for. Then for some of my pigments or glitter, yeah, glitters and pigment powders that came in the five gram to one gram jar size, I re I put these all in new bottles because those little things were really hard to open. You get pigment all over. I ended up, I don't know, dropping one upside down or whatever. So these ones have a nice a lot of space. So you don't have to worry about when you open it, you're going to get a whole big mess all over. You probably still will get a big mess all over because, you know, it's pigment powder. <laughs> but anyways, these pigments and glitters, they're all labeled. And these are ones that I got off of eBay or um, Twinkle Tea. All my Twinkle Tea collection is in here, eBay. And then here's some Joanne fabric ones that are shapes. Those are in there. Over here are some more from She Modern, or not She Modern, um, Glitter Unique. And this is actually what I'm going to be doing with all of my Glitter Unique ones, is I'm going to be putting these on these strut sticks. Stay tuned for a video on the different size vi um, glitters again. I did one a while back, so I'm going to do another one. And, um, and then I might show you how... I created the swatch sticks. I don't know if I'm going to go that far. I might just show you the sizes again in a better light because I have a better lighting situation now. This last one over here has my little caviar beads. Since I only have, I think, 12 bottles of cav or 12 jars of caviar beads, and these are these are 10 gram jars. I wouldn't go anything less than 10 gram jars. So these all have caviar beads, and then I just filled up empties so that they wouldn't slide around. 
I think I forgot to show this drawer in my last organizing video. And these are all of my gems. And I purchased these. Actually, I had my glitters, some of my glitters in here, and I hated it because it was just such a nightmare mess. So I rinsed them all out, vacuumed them out, and I put my gems in there, which they're perfect for my gems. And my She Modern glitters, they're all just in here because they fit really nice in that drawer. So since that's a relatively short <laughs> part of a video, I thought I would take out, I have just finished organizing my stamping collection. And I mean, I spent like all day long sorting my stamping stuff. So here are some stamping kits that are um, still hanging out. Um, extra stamping heads. There's stampers in here, all kinds of stamper stuff. Here's my crystal stamping thing. And then back there are my cases from CC and Sissy. So we'll take those out and take a look. Here is one of the cases. This is a very high quality case. I have no idea what it actually is made out of, but it is really durable and really nice and the zippers look at the stitching and that is not going to be breaking anytime soon and nice handles you know nice zippers and then what I did is I created these little tags and on the tags the front and back label whatever is in here so and this is just a piece of plastic um, folder, file folder. Let's take a look in here. I made dividers, and the dividers, I know I've showed before, the dividers I made out of plastic file folders that I cut down to fit in here, and then I rounded the corners. Now, some of the, um, some of them are in rings like this, and then just put in here because they won't all fit inside these rings. But you can also clip these inside there. I just chose not to. And then everything is divided. The, I love these. Um, these, I, I put paper in every single pocket. And right now I've got plenty of, of extra um, little pages. So I only have... I only filled one side of them just so that I could use them. <laughs> Anyways, but I put these little pockets in here because some of them have print on the back and it will rub off onto the plastic and I don't want that to happen. So I put some paper behind it. Plus you can write little notes in the margin, which is kind of cool. I did that with one of them because I think it was all like one theme except for one image on the plate. So I just wrote like the one image name here so that I, you know, I would remember like, oh, that's where that image is. And I love this because you can put whatever size you want inside together. You know, you can group them together, whatever size plates you have. So I really, really like that. Now these ones... These pockets aren't double-sided. Kind of not sure why, but you can definitely put, you know, front and back. And I just put a bunch of paper in here because um, they slip a little bit. I mean, they don't go anywhere, but they slip a little bit and I didn't want them slipping. So these are both front and back and the little ones are front and back. So this is Christmas and winter, and then we've got fall, Halloween, and Thanksgiving. Oh, and this one comes out too. It also has a pocket, which is really nice. So I just, I love these. And the only one that has one size or one brand only plates, all the rest are, the brands are mixed, is my Lena plates. And I did that because some of the Make Your Mark plates had different seasons on them. Like, like, I don't know, I had like Christmas or winter or whatever on one plate, 
along with, you know, like St. Patrick's Day or something like that. And I was like, okay, I don't, where do I stick it? So I just kept Lena by themselves. And what I did was I put, um, I kept the little sleeve and I just popped it behind there. And then I just labeled what kind of plates, like these are my four seasons. Then I've got an affair to remember and all about love, born to sail. This one is make your mark, feeling shapely and get wild. And then this last one, which don't know why it didn't get labeled yet. I have to go back and label it, and that's Spookalicious. So that's it for this video. I hope you like it. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. If you're not one of my subscribers, please subscribe. Thank you for watching. Bye for now.